G'day guys, how are you going? Um, got a, another Adventure Kings in today. Um, just going to sort a couple things out. This guy isn't sure if he's going to like this camping um, mode so much. You know, it's not a caravan with uh, you know aircon and a diesel heater and a shower and all the rest of the stuff. So he didn't spend, want to spend too much money on it. So the main thing he wanted done was a Dometic sink cut in and also a Dometic hot plate put in with the copper and everything done. So there was a quick release to be to be you know hooked onto it. But he was going to hold off on getting bayonets done or anything like that um, because, yeah, he, at the moment he just wanted to test it out before he spent money on just setting it up, you know, um, so real tools connection. So that's what we've um, done today. Also, he wants to put a Julka, um, gets a Julka connected. So there's a little uh, fitting on the front there that you can, like a Nitto fitting that you can plug in for the water. Um, and he wanted some way of having a, a double connection on that. Okay, so that's what we sorted out today. So I'll show you, I'll just give you the run, rundown quickly of what we did. Okay, let's just open her up here. Pull the fridge slide out. I'll just show you this too. So, there's already a hole here for the for the Dometic sink, so we just had to cut it a bit bigger. It's stainless steel, so yeah, you know, difficult to cut. Got to make sure your holes are right. Um, same with the Dometic hot plate. The, the template that they sort of give you on a bit of paper, it's not a you know a nice one you can draw on. You have to sort of work it out yourself. But they don't leave you much room. It's only five mil meat but you can leave a lot more on the edges that, that we've you know we've done lots of these so we leave a lot more meat especially on these corners here for it to it to sit on now underneath here we've done the copper connection you can't have flexies on these ones you can't hook gas flexies on uh, you've got to have a test nipple under there as well so um we, we take out the drawer so that test nipple can be accessible you know if, that's good for testing the gas the, the burner pressure and all that sort of stuff and then on the side uh, down this side here we've done a uh, you can see we've done a quick Quick release fitting, okay? Now, normally we, we chuck a couple of bayonets in, you can just hook them straight up. He didn't want to spend the money, which is cool. So all we've done is um, just got this gas regulator with the new fitting on it, okay? So that can screw straight onto, you, straight onto his bottle, okay? So he can only use one appliance at the time, which is fine. That's all he said. You know, he's gonna give it a crack anyway. So you can put that on, turn the bottle on. I've obviously, no gas is gonna come out. That just clips straight on here now, okay? onto the quick release fitting. So again, if he wants to pull over for a cup of tea or do some eggs or something, very easy now. Turn it on, a couple of sparks, and then see, just gotta empty that uh, the air out of the hose and then she's all, all working and stuff, okay? So that's all that's all good and work, working. So to un unhook it again, just in reverse, unhook it like that and it comes off. Now, the good thing about it, um, with the dual cot water system that he's got, Okay, that usually comes with their own quick release fitting. Now we've taken that off and put on the one that matches this. So now he can use this, he can hang, hang this up and, and that can go straight on. So he's not stuffing around with two hoses now, he can just clip that straight on there and he can start using the jork if he hangs it on a tree or something like that. Now if he wants to bring the jorker down to the creek or something and uh, run, you know, have a really long shower out there, we've just put another quick release fitting on here. I'll show you that. This is what comes with the Julka now, okay? So we put the quick release fitting on that, so then he can bring that down to the to the creek. Now, if he wants to run a barbecue off this, that quick release fitting we can put on a barbecue now, or anything like that, and so he can start using that straight off his bottle. So yeah, good solution for him as he as he tries it out. Um, another thing is he wanted a on this uh, fitting, this Nitto fitting down here, he wanted a, a, a double tap. So we ended up simplest way to do it. You can do this yourself too. It's just go down to Reese and grab one of these double Griffos. You need one with a female. Okay, and then you need, and this is the fitting that sort of came, that it came with. Um, and so all, all it has to be is a, I think a six mil by 15 mil reducing nipple, as they call it. Um, I'll, I'll give you that. The number for the reducing nipple um, is a 208525, that's from Reese. Okay, so that's uh, 208525, that's from Reese. The tap, if you want that, that's just the double griffo they call it, get the female one. And the number for that one, just ask for a 2131532 and just put it all together like that. That means that when you shove it in this, uh, shove it into the Nitto fitting here, then you should have water coming out. So obviously one, you can wash your feet and you can hook your jorker on there and get it all done. Another thing um, that we did, but well, we did another video because there's a bit of stuffing around. So you only complain that when the, um, the, the kitchen was pulled out, it would pop off or something. You can see now, just, I'll just get Josh to pull it out a little bit and it just goes like that and then it would pull and it would touch on this thing here and then it would just go, you can see it, it just pops off, right? That, that fitting shouldn't just pop off. So we ended up um, 
doing a bit of magic with this uh, John Guest pipe, curled it up and it's worked out really good. But I've got a sort of in-depth video that we're, will come out soon and I'll, I'll show you how to do that yourselves as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe. And, uh, and I hope, yeah, hopefully the bloke will be back, like this sort of camping and get the bayonets done. So if you live in Perth and you need a hand with any of this stuff, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.